Welcome everyone to the Vibes of UMCS. My name is Ellen and I'm here with my co-host Brian. Hi. Hi. So this is a new program. It's very innovative. We are going to tell you more about the student's life. What is it like to be a student in UMCS, especially a foreigner student? How we and the students spend their free time? What are the most interesting activities in the university? And in general. Where to eat, what to do, where to go, where to visit, the nice places in Lublin. I know that uh, Lublin is a city of inspiration, so... I'm sure there's so much things to do in Lublin. So if you want to hear more from us, if you want to stay up to date with the students and with all the activities that we have prepared for you, just watch us on the TV UMCS and also listen to us on the radio center. Ellen, I so like your necklace. Please tell me about it. And if possible, if I could get one. You like my necklace, wow. Very nice, very well. Thank you so much. This is the necklace. It's my lucky necklace, which I wear all the time, and it brings luck to my life. This is the shape of the butterfly, and the wings are in colors. It's red, like one red stripe with four four small red crosses and one big cross because the flag of Georgia consists of five red crosses on the white background. So I like it very much. I love it. I wear it all the time. As I said, I'm repeating myself, but it's okay. And uh, yeah, but we're not here to talk about my necklace, right, Brian? We are here to talk about Hakuna Matata and I'm sure many of you guys know what Hakuna Matata is, but for those who don't, I think Brian will... Explain it to us. Exactly. Uh, Hakuna Matata is a Swahili word that originates from Tanzania country, located on the eastern part of Africa. And it simply means don't worry, be happy. And uh, fortunately, Hakuna Matata has been a very famous word Mm -hmm. from the Disney uh, movie called Lion King. And I know you know about it with the song Hakuna Hakuna Matata. Matata. (laughs) Yes, yes. So it's a very uh, innovative program that was pioneered by international students in cooperation with the promotion center of the university and the international students office. The program uh, is a cultural and uh, entertainment program that aims to bring Polish students and international students to share life experiences, to share culture, to share the different languages that people speak, to learn how to work together because we're having programs on working together like teamwork building and other other fun and games activities. And I know that the program already finished because the closing ceremony was on the 30th of January, am I correct? Very correct. And it was very good because of course students they have been talking about that all time every day all day and uh, there was the ZTL which was performing this is the UMCS uh, group for folk dances and there was also the Diembe right the Diembe very correct, the, the, yes. the group of the Diembe it was a very interesting just to listen to the uh, inspirators of the Hakuna Matata they gave the speeches they gave the gratitudes to the authorities of the university and people involved in Hakuna Matata team mm. so what would you say is that a success was that project a success um, honestly, uh, the project has been a success on the basis that uh, the number of students that were, were attending because this whole program is for students and uh, the participation, the active participation of the student in the whole program because we also had uh, an award yesterday on the most participatory student mm-hmm. during the program. So, and the number was increasing depending on the the, on the event and it was a success, I could mm-hmm. say. And we are hoping that maybe we can continue in the near future. And there was how many events? Uh, it was seven? Yes, there were uh, seven is- events. Seven events. And one of them was also food festival, Yes, which I attended. It was very good because I loved the food that they served. What food did you love the best? Well, I loved pierogi and I loved the sweets. Uh, I think they had charlotka. This is my favorite cake. Mm-hmm. It was, it's a Polish apple pie. And uh, what about you? Which event was your favorite? Uh, to me, the Christmas uh, event was the best because 
it's my first time to experience a Christmas uh, period out of my home country. And how you guys celebrate uh, Christmas is really special. And yeah, that was the best to me. The Christmas carols, the songs, people gathering with the candles and everything. It's really, really nice and beautiful. Well, I need to correct you. It's not you guys because <laughs> I'm actually from Georgia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm also celebrating uh, Christmas with Polish people and I like it too. It's very interesting. Mm-hmm. It's different from what we do in Georgia because mm-hmm. Georgia is orthodox country and Poland is a Catholic country, mm-hmm. as you might know. But let's go back to Hakuna Matsara. You said that you're hoping that the project will continue. I also have big hopes for that and I'm sure you also hope that it will go on. So to hear more about the news regarding Hakuna Matara and the future of Hakuna Matara, stay tuned and listen to us in Radio Centrum in the morning and watch us on TV UMCS. In case of any questions you have, just post them down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to spread the good, good vibes, vibes all day, every day. day. Vibes out. out. The project is financed by the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange.